Welcome to my retro game haul video for May. Um, we're gonna unbox as I get stuff through the week, through the month. I will uh, record myself unboxing them, and we'll just see what I get. Um, I've got I've ordered some things off eBay. Um, I have my retro game treasure coming, um, and I have some other local um, area grab bags that I've that I've grabbed recently so that should be fun but anyway let's uh, go ahead and get to the first item for this video here and I know what it is already I've already taken the opportunity to cut the tape on it yep cool so it's um Pokemon a pinball for the Game Boy, Game Boy Color. And it does have the, the battery cover. I took it off by accident. It's actually in pretty great shape. The label's a little scratched up. But uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's looking pretty good. Bam. Uh, what else do we have in this box? This was one uh, bid that I entered. Okay, so this is uh, Pokemon Gold. Surprisingly, one of the games that I just haven't had. Um, I have Pocket Monsters Gold, uh, which is the Japanese release. But I, I don't. I didn't have an, 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 and I have Silver version. Um, but as far as Pokemon games go, I think those are the only two that I ha American releases that I have. So uh, of the original Game Boy Color Game Boy games. Um, Awesome. I'm glad I grabbed this. Um, it wasn't too bad, the auction. I want to have one more box for today. Um, this is an interesting one. So I know what's in the box. However, I don't know what's in the package in the box. Um, this was one of my favorite games uh, when I, as a kid. Um, I got it with my Xbox 360 um, when I was a child. Um, but... This is a new old stock, never been opened. Um, it's for a pretty decent price too. It's old Walmart stock, um, believe it or not. Um, but it is the limited uh, edition Halo Reach um, box. Awesome. I have no idea what came in the limited edition. I didn't really look. Let's go ahead and pop this baby open. Still got the shrink wrap on it. That's how oh, that's how new this is. See, so it's got a slip cover. Ooh, it's in like a nice like a uh, kind of like box thing. It's got a little handle on it. Let's go ahead and see how how does it open. We seem to be having trouble figuring out how oh, there it goes. It slides. Got it. So it slides open. This is pretty cool. Let's see what we get. We, of course, get the game, which is in this really nice black case. Oh, baby. I wonder if these codes are any good still, but we got Halo Reach, and we've got all the download codes and a manual. Goodness gracious, game still came with manuals. Um, I don't know if these codes are still good. Do they expire? So this must still be these must still be good. So that's exciting. I like this black case though. This black 360 case. Mmm. Mwah. It's gorgeous. Let's see what else we get. We've got like a little. Uh, like a like a little piece of paper with some writing on it and some information about the top secret thing that we found. Let's go ahead and pull it out of here and see. It's got, it comes in this nice like top secret eyes only code word required a little bubble wrap case. 
Oh. Ooh. Okay. Seemed like a cool... Like, journal. Okay, so it opens this way. Oh my goodness. It's like a little... It's like a sketchbook of, like, information about the master, the Spartan program. Which is awesome. This is really cool. I mean, it's funny. I don't have a lot of experience with all of the Halo games. Um, I have a ton of experience with Halo Reach, though. Um, it was one of the first times I had, like, a real emotional impact. It's just a map of Reach. Um, emotional impact to a video game. Um, I mean, it's, it hit me pretty hard, and I was, I really enjoyed it. Let's see what we got in here. We got a little pocket in the back. So that's like a map. I'll have to look through this journal. We've got a Spartan patch. We've got Catherine Halsey's UNC, like, little smart card. Like a photo of the Spartan team. Some battle plans. Some information about what could be a new threat. like a, a gene breakdown that's pretty cool you got this one too awesome this is pretty cool there's a lot of little, little documents here um, that I will go through I love how it's like a it's like a group it's like a bunch of um, information that's been gathered um, and then like sealed away to be sent to you know whoever um, Got like little candidate cards. I'm assuming these are probably for the different Spartans in the uh, in the game. These are like little like uh, files about their candidate records. Pretty cool. So yeah, I you know this is my first try to video like this. Uh, I'm sure it'll get better, um, but it's also. Uh, gonna be longer. There's gonna be more. All right, so we're back. Um, we're just gonna we got some more stuff to unbox. Um, this was a grab bag from a local game store. I'm trying to. There's a great um, Twitter account called Cheap Ass Gamer, um, and they were helping some local retro game stores kind of get out there during this you know time period of not being able to you know be open. And so they did. They had some grab bags on their sites for fifteen dollars a piece. Um, and so I got one for each of their Nintendo systems that they offered. Um, so let's go ahead and crack in. Looks like the first I've got here is for the NES. I've got Othello. You know, it's a pretty standard game. Uh, you know, if you haven't played it before, it's just a board game type thing. I actually have the Famicom disc system, a release of that as well. Um, and these are all in great condition, by the way. Uh, Blaster Master, that's awesome. Don't have that yet in my collection. And as well as The Little Mermaid. So that's pretty cool. I actually haven't heard that game get talked about, but it is a Capcom game, so it should be pretty good. Uh, next up, oh, I'll hold that one for last. Next up, we've got Game Boy Advance. We've got, okay, from the NES Classic Series, The Legend of Zelda 2, The Adventure of Link, um, Fortress, never heard of that, and Snood, never heard of that one either. Let's just get these up in the frame here. Snood, I never heard of that one. That, that's a, that looks like box, the cover art that was like put together um, in like MS Paint or something. It's just a gradient. Uh, Fortress. 
Oh, I love these gray carts. These NES gray carts. Zelda 2. Let's see if I can get it. Focus. Come on, buddy. Focus. Benefit like, well, you get the, you get this idea. Next up, we've got Game Boy. It's interesting. They didn't have one for Game Boy Color. But they did have one for just regular Game Boy. But we've got, ooh, Wave Race for the Game Boy. I'm sure that that is not janky at all. We've got Centipede. This looks like a... Interesting. It looks like this is the... Atari box art, but put on a Game Boy cart. Which is bizarre. We've also got, ooh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Um, fall of the Foot Clan. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Next up, we've got some DS games. I don't have a good solution for storing loose DS games as of right now, um, but I'm working on fixing that. But first, we've got Arkanoid for the DS. I haven't played that before, but I've heard the name. Uh, we've got Exit for the DS. Haven't heard of, I've, I think I've heard of that one, not sure what it is. As well as Tetris Party Deluxe. This is one of those carts you kind of just see um, everywhere. Everybody's got a copy of Tetris Party, and I do too now. All right, now we've got our SNES games. Tetris 2, okay. I didn't know Tetris needed a sequel. Uh, Bram Stoker's Dracula. Interesting. As well as Pac-Man 2, The New Adventures. We'll have to check. I think this will be a fun one to check out on stream. So that's all that. Um, we've got uh, this one. I forgot I ordered some um, Genesis games as well. Okay, we've got Vector Man. I already have Vector Man, um, so keep an eye out. We might, this might be a giveaway on a later stream over on my Twitch channel, so stay tuned for that. Um, Pitfall, The Mayan Adventures, and Eternal Champions. I haven't heard, I've heard, I know what Pitfall is. I, don't, I didn't know there was a Genesis game. That'd be fun. But yeah, that is everything. So thank you all. Uh, I'll be back, I think, with something else after this. <laughs> Who knows? Um, but um, yeah, and I think this is from all. I got, I got it all from Regen. I'll make sure I put the the name of that their website in the description. But thank you to Regen, um, a local game store in my area. Um, I bought it. Um, they didn't pay me to say this, but thank you very much for keeping your doors open and doing what you do. I will, can't wait to get in there and see your store in person once quarantine's over. Anyway, uh, stay tuned. All right, the next, we've got three boxes here. Um, the first one is from eBay. I know what this one is. Um, I got a uh, lot, two lots of Famicom Disk System games because even though none of them are in English, and I can't even play some of them because they're text adventures. I just can't help myself. Um, so, I've got, not this one's unlabeled. Looks like a soccer game though. I'll look it up in a second. Um, I'll have, I'll show you what it is. This is what it looks like. And I'll have on the screen right now, um, in text below it, what game it is. Uh, it looks fun. This one is the same, no no name, but it's got a sticky note stuck in the back that says Pocky and Rocky. So that might be Pocky and Rocky, I will correct it if it's not. Um, this is an Ultraman game of some sort, but I'm not sure uh, which one it is. And here's another one I don't, I don't know. And another one I don't know, but this one's got a bunch of like uh, st 
sticker, Star Crusader stickers on it. I think they're Star Crusader. I honestly don't know. But over there. Another one that's not labeled. Another one that's unlabeled. This case is this one's case is a little broken. But I have a spare case. So not to fret. And this one which is unlabeled. So all of those will have been identified in the video, but that's exciting. I'm a fan. Uh, our next one, we'll save the best one for last. From our next one, ugh, it's kind of something um, that I always wanted. I hinted at it at, uh, earlier in the video, um, but it is, whew, this box stinks. Um, but anyway, it is, I'll see if the controller gives it away. It's got a play and charge kit. That's useful. I'm sure the battery in this thing is kaput, though. Man, it smells real bad. They had animals at this house. Um, anyway, it's uh, the Halo Reach limited edition uh, controller. But with that comes another controller. Uh, just kidding. This is like a third party knockoff. Um,. Oh, but I got Namco Museum! No, that's not that's not the exciting bit. How about this charge and quote play cable? That's not the that's not it either, huh? Well this must be then what's the so what the exciting bit is. Look at this thing. It's a Halo Reach um, limited edition Xbox 360. This is one of my favorite games from the 360. I know that's a, a weird take um, when, you know, things like Halo um, 3 and the such were on it. Um, but this was one of my favorite games. This console is gorgeous. It's silver. It's got some branding on it. It'll go nicely with my um, limited edition Halo Reach. Um, but this is actually what you will see uh, me playing Sonic 06 on. So look forward to that. Um, it'll be interesting for sure. I'm excited. And let's just see. Make sure there's nothing else hiding in the box. Looks like just some cables. I got an HDMI cable. I didn't need that, but I appreciate it. I got a Wi-Fi adapter, but I shouldn't need a Wi-Fi adapter because I think the Slim has Wi-Fi built in. AV cables. I mean, that's nice to have. And the power supply. This thing's a brick. Um, but anyway, awesome. I'm excited to test this baby out, reformat it, get it set up for me. It'll be a good time. But now we're on to the grand finale, at least at this point of the video. Um, I don't think I have anything else planning to come this month, but if I do, then obviously this won't be the finale. It's my retro game treasure. Um, if you don't know what retro game treasure is, it is essentially a, a Loot Crate type subscription service, but for retro games. Um, I really like them. Um, it's about 30 bucks a month, maybe a little bit more. But they give you a good mix of games, and they keep track of what your collection is. So you don't get duplicates. Now, I am not very good about updating it when I buy games outside of them. Um, they update everything automatically. But I, I'm bad about it. Um, so I sometimes get duplicates, but those I'll pass on to you guys. It's giving us potential giveaways in the future. This is a good box. So, we've got uh, Shonen Jump, Famicom, Famicom Jump, or something of the same, something of that type game for the Famicom. You've got Super Hornet FA18F. For the Game Boy Advance. Make sure you get a good look at that one. I'm sure that's amazing. Um, we've got sealed. That's what I like too. I've been getting these lately. Um, sealed copy of Ape Escape out on the loose for um, PSP. Those are always fun to get. I've gotten a couple sealed PSP games from them. There's a bunch of stuff in here. Goodness gracious. Goodness gracious. Okay. You've got Van Helsing. 
And it's a used game case, but nonetheless, interesting. For the PS2. And Blazing Angels Squadrons of World War II for the Wii. And a good haul. I say that's a lot of games. Um, usually I don't get that much. But I'm excited to Ooh, sorry about that. I'm excited to check out the Shonen Jump Famicom game. That looks like fun. Um, and the PSP game is looks like fun as well. It looks like a mini game collection. Similar to like Raymond's Raven the Ra the Rabbit series that started as a bigger thing and then the rabbits turned into their own thing. This looks like that with the monkeys. But hey, this looks like fun. Um, uh, stay tuned. There might be more unboxing after this. If there's not, um, I'm sure it'll cut right to the outro. I hope you all enjoyed uh, this month's retro game haul. Um, it was a pretty good month. I got um, the Ape Escape game um, for PSP uh, sealed in the box from Retro Game Treasure. Um, I got the sealed um, Halo Reach uh, limited edition, um, and that one actually the codes in that worked. I I, were, I was able to get the DLC, uh, which was awesome. Um, we've got the Reach uh, 360 here next to me, which, which is what we've been playing Sonic 06 on. We got those grab bags from Regen. We got the Pokemon Pinball games. We got Pokemon Gold. It's been a good month. Um, I hope you all enjoyed it. This is a new content uh, for me. Um, but I'm looking forward to maybe doing one of these every month. Or maybe every two months if, if it's a slow month. But I hope you enjoyed it. So make sure you comment, like, subscribe, all the good stuff. Um, and let me know if you like this kind of content or what you think, what you'd like to see. Um, anyway, I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day, and I will see you all soon. Bye.